So this is a Neanderthal from a site called Shanadar in what is now Iraq and uh, discovered in the 50s, I think. And it really changed the way, started changing the way we think about Neanderthals. And of course, the caveman image is very difficult to get rid of for some reason. And um, probably the last 10 headlines you've read about Neanderthals is that they weren't as stupid as we thought. always been considered one of the hallmarks of homo, you know, enlargement of the brain. Things can go wrong at any step, so, so I'm happy now to have a really good eye maker. I definitely have to be very much an artist and very much a scientist when I work on this kind of project. Be and I have to basically switch heads when I'm working. I have to, I have to make sure that I'm paying attention to aesthetic concerns, um, things like facial expression and that sort of thing. And I also have to make sure I'm, I'm, um, I'm true to the science. Evolution. There are some things we can say about the loss of body hair in the, in the line leading to modern humans. In my training and also in my early years of my art career, I was doing a lot of paleontology focused art in a sort of general way. But my first love was always human evolution because I think of the evolution of humans on earth as one of the most remarkable points in the history of life. These were complex beings. These weren't, again, the brutish, brutish cavemen of popular mythology. Um, and so I wanted to convey an individual, a sort of a wistful expression 